Hello everyone. This is uh, Dr. Ranjit Kumar Gatla working as an associate professor in electrical and electronic engineering department Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss some numerical problems especially on two topics which we have discussed already in the previous lectures. Uh, the first two topic is about uh, the series and parallel connection of the SCR and the second topic is on uh, the gate characteristics of an SCR. So on these two topics today we are going to solve some numerical problems in this class. So when coming to the the first numerical problems which is on the series and parallel connection of the uh, SCR. So let me read the problem here. SCR with a rating of 1000 volts and 200 amperes are available to used in a string to hold 6 kV and 1 kA. Calculate the number of series and parallel units required in case D rating factor of 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. So here according to this problem what we can understand here is the two things we need to understand. The first thing is what is the given data that they have provided in the problem and what we have to calculate by using the given data. So by reading this problem that we can understand there are number of SCRs need to connect in series and parallel so that the old string can capable to handle the 6 kV I mean the voltage is 6 kilo volts and the current of 1 kilo amperes and the individual SCR rating also they are provided that is the individual SCR voltage rating is 1000 volts and the current is 200 amperes. And again, we have to calculate the required number of series and parallel connection of our series and parallel uh, SCRs. Okay, the number of series and parallel SCRs that we need to connect based on the D rating factor that they have provided 0 0.1 and 0 0.2, which means suppose if we consider the D rating factor as 0 0.1, then how many number of thyristors we need to connect in series and uh, as well as how many number of thyristors we need to connect in parallel to get the total string I mean uh, to handle uh, the total uh, what is that uh, the string of 6 kV and 1 kV. Similarly for considering the D rating factor of 0 0.2 again how many thyristors we need to connect in series and how many thyristors we need to connect in parallel to make a string uh, so that that can handle 6 kVA and 1 kV. So like this we need to calculate. So for that first let me write uh, the given data for that for that the SCR that they have uh, what is it the voltage individual voltage of that SCR is 1000 volts and similarly the current rating of that SCR is 200 amperes and the two D rating factors that they have given let me consider DRF1 which is equal to 0 0.1 and DRF2 which is equal to 0 0.2 and then another thing the string the what is that string voltage and uh, uh, current the string voltage is which is uh, 6 kV which means 6000 volts and uh, the current which is 1 kA means 1000 amperes. Then already we know the D rating factor, D rating factor which is equal to 1 minus string efficiency. This is the formula that we already discussed in the uh, previous lecture. And here again the string efficiency, string efficiency which is equal to, okay the formula that is the actual rating of the old string which means it may be voltage or current. The actual rating which means either it may be voltage or current actual rating of 
of the whole string divided by divided by the number of SCRs number of SCRs in string here either it may be series or it may be parallel string into rating again it may be voltage or current current uh, what is that uh, rating of individual SCR okay so according to this formula first let me uh, what is that uh, write down we can just substitute here in this derating factor that is let me consider first the derating factor of I mean uh, first bit is a let me consider that is that uh, by considering the derating factor of 0 0.1 so for the derating factor of 0 0.1 here then 0 0.1 which is equal to 1 minus the actual rating of the old string so let me consider let me first find the number of uh, thyristors which we need to connect uh, uh, in series so that it can handle the voltage rating of 6 kV. So for that here 1 minus the actual uh, rating of the string the actual voltage rating of the string which is 6 uh, kV so which is 6000 by the number of SCRs in the string which means the number of SCRs that we need to connect in series in the string so that we need, don't know that we need to find. So let me consider it is ns into the actual rating of the uh, what is that uh, uh, the string okay the actual voltage rating of the individual SCR. So here the actual voltage rating of the individual SCR that they have given is a thousand so ns into thousand. If you simplify this equation if we simplify this equation then we can get uh, the number of SCRs that we need to connect in series. So let me simplify then the ns which is equal to here this is are the 6000 now what is that by 1000 into 0.9 which is equal to 6.6 .6. so which means which is around 7 so the 7 uh, what is the thyristors we need to connect in series so that the string can handle up to uh, what is that uh, 6000 uh, volts okay for a derating factor of 0 0.1 similarly for the same derating factor okay so how many uh, what is that we, with respect to the current then we need to calculate how many thyristors that we need to connect in parallel okay so for that here again i am using the same formula that is uh, for uh, 1 minus that is the derating factor okay which is 0 0.1 which is equal to 1 minus and uh, according to the string efficiency formula that is uh, um, the actual rating of the old string so which is the current rating of the old string the current rating of the old string is uh, 1k which means 1000 amperes by again uh, the number of uh, what is that uh, thyristors connected in parallel that is np into the actual uh, current rating of the uh, individual thyristor which is 200 amperes so it can be simplified that is np is equal to 1000 by and uh, here 200 into 0 0.9 so that it is around 5.5 so which can make it equal to 6 okay so which means for a derating factor of 0 0.1 and for a string for a string having 6 kV and 1 kA, okay, then the number of uh, series connected are uh, what is the thyristors required are 7 and the number of parallel uh, thyristors we need to connect are 6. Okay, so that the string can handle the 6 kV and 1 kA rating. This is how we need to find. Uh, uh, how many number of thyristors we need to connect in series as well as how many number of uh, thyristors we need to connect in parallel so that the uh, uh, i mean uh, to make a string and uh, that string can capable of 6 kV and 1 kA then in the second case 
like uh, for the derating factor f2 is equal to uh, which they have given is 0.2 so for 0.2 the same equation again here 0.2 equal to 1 minus uh, with respect to the series uh, what is that SCRs then uh, the rating of the old string the voltage rating of the old string is 6000 by ns into and the individual uh, SCR rating which is 1000 okay so from this we can make it this equation uh, which is ns is equal to 6000 by uh, what is that ns uh, then 100 sorry 1000 into 0 0.8 so which is nearly equal to 7.5 so we can make it uh, the round figure as 8 then similarly for the number of parallel uh, thyristors required which is equal to again 0 0.2 equal to 1 minus here the current rating of this string is uh, 1000 amperes by np into the individual rating of an scr is here 200 and then again if you simplify this np is equal to uh, 1000 by and here zero i mean what is a 200 into 0 0.8 so that the equation is, i mean the value is 6.25 and we can make it equal this one as a 7 then in this case in for b for the d rating factor of 0 0.2 and again the same string uh, rating of the voltage and uh, current okay so here the number of series i mean the number of the thyristors that we need to connect in series are ns is equal to 8 and the number of uh, what is that uh, thyristors we need to connect in parallel uh, which are uh, what how many here uh, 7 okay so which means uh, here for uh, in in these two cases uh, the same string which we are using i mean uh, the rating of the string but here based on the derating factor the required number of the uh, what is the thyristors connected in series and parallel uh, will change so which means as you can see when you are increasing the derating factor okay when you are increasing the derating factor so the number of thyristors the number of thyristors uh, requirement is also increasing here you can see uh, the total thyristors are 7 plus 6 here that is 13 but here it is 8 plus 7 which is 15. So, here the derating factor is 0 0.1 and here the derating factor is 0 0.2. So, when you are increasing the derating factor, then the number of thyristors required uh, in a particular string will also increase. Right? So, this is how uh, we can calculate uh, the, uh, the required number of series and uh, parallel uh, thyristors that we need to connect uh, in a string. Then we will go for the uh, next problem. This is also uh, what is that? Uh, uh, this is regarding the uh, the parallel only. Okay, the parallel connection of the SCR. So just let me read the problem. Here, it is required to operate 250 amperes SCR in parallel with 350 ampere SCR with their respective on-state voltage drops of 1.6 volts and 1.2 volts, and calculate the value of resistance to be inserted in the series with each SCR so that they share the total load of 600 amperes in proportion to their current ratings. So here first we need to understand the problem. So here uh, <clears throat> the problem is they want to connect the two thyristors in parallel. Okay so that they can make a uh, what is that a string that can capable of 600 amperes because uh, let me draw here or in another way Here, these are the two thyristors. Okay, and they are having some uh, because, as we know, uh, the problems associated with the uh, thyristors connected in uh, parallel. Also, okay, to eliminate, we usually connect one resistor in uh, series with these. Uh, uh, what is that string? Okay, 
then here let me consider here this uh, i1 which is equal to 250 amperes and this is i2 okay which is equal to uh, what is that 350 amperes okay so that the total string current so that the total string current i which is equal to 600 amperes so here we need to find the equivalent resistance or the resistance value so that the each string can what is that uh, share the total 600 amperes with as 250 and 350 because as we know uh, the load sharing is not equal but we must uh, uh, if the two resistors having the same uh, rating also but here the two resistors having the different rating and we have to uh, share uh, the current okay in proportion to the rating of the uh, what is that uh, the thyristors actually here this is not i1 and i2 because this is the the rated current okay of the i1 and i2 which means the thyristor t1 can capable uh, capable up to 250 amperes and thyristor t2 can capable up to 350 amperes like that right and they have also provided uh, the voltage drop across each thyristor okay let me consider here the voltage drop across first thyristor is 1.6 volts and the second thyristor is 1.2 volts okay so for that here okay so here uh, first i am going to calculate the dynamic resistance okay i will let you know why i am going to calculate the dynamic resistance so the dynamic resistance of scr1 the dynamic resistance of scr1 is uh, usually i mean uh, the 250 amperes one okay scr1 okay which is equal to uh, the voltage drop by the what is that the current so the voltage drop is 1.6 and the current is rating of the thyristor one is 250 amperes so we can make it as 1.6 by 250 ohms then similarly the dynamic resistance of scr2 okay so which is uh, uh, the uh, scr which is capable of 350 amperes and the voltage drop is 1.2 ohms 1.2 by 350 ohms okay so here how i am going to calculate this one is just uh, by applying uh, what is that uh, the current division rule okay the current division rule so then the current shared by the what is that uh, the thyristor one then the current shared by uh, what is that scr1 which is equal to the total current which is 600 amperes into the opposite resistance here okay so the resistance is uh, the dynamic resistance which means uh, the internal resistance of the uh, what is that the thyristor plus the external resistance which we are connecting which is r so the internal resistance just now we have calculated for the scr1 is uh, this one and for but here we need to take the opposite one okay so which means uh, this is for scr2 that is 1.2 by 350 plus r by the total resistance by the total resistance which means as we know so if you consider this is uh, r1 and this is r2 okay then here i1 i2 so that uh, i1 is equal to uh, what is the total current i into r2 by r1 plus r2 the same thing here i have written okay and uh, which is equal to it must which must be in proportion with 250 because they have told like in proportional to their current rating so that this is proportional to the 250 okay similarly the current flowing through the second uh, scr that is scr2 which is equal to again the total current i into the opposite resistance which is 1.6 by 250 plus r by the total resistance and which should be proportional to 350 so let me consider here this is equation number one and here this is equation number two now i am going to make equation number one by two I am dividing these two equations. Okay, then here, uh, what is that? Uh, the six hundred into one point two by three fifty 
plus R by the total resistance by again here 600 into uh, which is 1.6 by 250 plus R by total resistance. So here the 600, 600 will get cancelled. Okay. And here the total resistance and total resistance will cancel, which is equal to again in the, what is that right hand side, which is 250 by 350. Okay. So by solving this equation, then you will get the value of the R, which is equal to 0 0.04 ohms. So the value of the resistance that we need to correct here is 0 0.04 ohms. Like this, we need to calculate. Which means, thus the resistance, resistance to be inserted in series with each SCR is 0 0.04 ohms. Right. So this is how we can find uh, uh, what is that uh, the resistance. But as we know here, uh, how we should choose the resistance value R. That means the internal resistance, let me consider this is R1 plus R, which is equal to R2 plus R, which is equal to R3 plus R. In this sequence, we need to consider the R value. Okay, according to that, we have to choose the R value. Right? This is about uh, uh, the different numerical problems on the topic which is called uh, the series and parallel connection of the SCR. The next we will move for the, uh, the next topic which is gate characteristics of an SCR. Then uh, let me read the problem here. For an SCR, the gate cathode characteristics has a straight line slope of 130 for trigger source voltage of 15 volts and allowable gate power dissipation of 0 0.5 watts, then compute the gate source resistance. So to get understand this problem, let me draw a simple, uh, what is that, uh, the circuit for an SCR. This is an SCR. This is a gate, gate and anode and uh, this is a cathode. So we are giving the gate signal and for that we are connecting some resistor here and uh, let me consider here it is uh, uh, what is that uh, es or eg let me consider here it is es and then like this so here this is the resistance rs that we need to calculate and here the voltage across the gate and cathode is Vg and the current flowing through this uh, circuit is Ig. Okay. So here we need to find the value of the Rs. For that, we know the equation. I mean, let me write first the given data here. Uh, the SCR gate cathode uh, having a straight line slope of 130. Okay. And we need to understand the characteristics also. As we know, the gate characteristics having a slope line, let me consider this is Ig and this is Vg. Okay, so there is a load line. Okay, so that we can, uh, what is that, uh, what is that, uh, can find the gate current which we require to give to another thyristor. So that this is uh, Ig and this is Vg value. Okay, and uh, this slope that they have given is uh, 130. So for that slope which we want to find means Vg by Ig is equal to 130. Okay. So Vg by Ig which is equal to 130. And another parameter that they have given is uh, the triggering source voltage which means Es which is equal to 15 volts. And then the power dissipation which is Vg into Ig, the gate power dissipation Vg into Ig is equal to 0.5. 
then we need to find the rs so for that the the general equation that we know which is e s is equal to i g into r s plus v g so from this we can find these uh, r s value but here before that we need to find uh, because we know es but we don't know i g and v g so from these two equations we can find v g and i g values by solving by solving 1 and 2 okay so we can get i g and v g because from this if you send this one then v g is equal to 130 into i g okay and substitute this one here so that the 130 into i g into already i g is there which is equal to 0.5 okay then which means 130 into i g square which is equal to 0.5 then from this here i g that we can get is equal to 62 milli amperes right then you can substitute this 62 milli amperes in here i mean in equation number or is it uh, uh, in this equation so that here vg is equal to 130 into 62 into 10 to the power of minus 3 then vg is equal to then that is 8.06 volts vg is 8.06 volts then here according to this equation which is es equal to ig into rs plus vg so here es that they have given is 15 volts plus ig that uh, just now we have calculated that is 62 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into rs plus the vg uh, that is also just now we have calculated vg is equal to 8.06 volts of course we don't need to mention here the unit okay then from this the rg value that can be 1 point sorry triple uh, 1.94 ohms okay of course here we just consider as rs not rg rs so which means here the value of this resistance rs is equal to triple 1.4 ohms like that we need to uh, calculate the value of the rs very simple okay just we need to remember only the three equations of course uh, we should aware about the gate characteristics of an SCR and the circuit for that also the triggering circuit uh, uh, for that uh, SCR also we need to remember so that it is very easy to understand the problem okay and uh, again by reading the problem we can get to know what is the given data and uh, uh, what are the what are the things that we need to find from the given data right yes then uh, we will go for the next problem so now we are moving to the next problem uh, which is also uh, what is that on gate triggering sorry uh, the gate characteristics okay so let me read the problem here the triggering circuit of a thyristor has a source voltage of 15 volts and the load line has a slope of 120 volts per ampere and the minimum gate current to turn off the scr is 25 milliamperes then calculate source resistance required in the gate circuit and the trigger voltage and the trigger current for an average gate power dissipation of 0.4 watts again uh, based on the same concept okay so we have already just now discussed i mean how the gate triggering circuit and uh, uh, how uh, the load line right so here in simple uh, words the first one is the source assistance required in the gate circuit okay the source assistance in the required in the gate circuit that we can be considered as a uh, what is that the slope of the uh, the load line Okay, because as we know the slope of the load line which is equal to uh, Vg by what is that uh, Ig. Okay, Vg by uh, Ig. Okay, from that we can easily uh, what is that uh, make it as here the source resistance required to the gate circuit for that first one is we can just make it as 120 because we by I is equal to R. 
then the second one is we need to find the triggered voltage and the triggered current which means what is the value of ig and what is the value of vg that we need to find here again what they have given is the es which is equal to 15 volts the same value and here the triggering voltage and the triggering current okay the triggering voltage and the triggering current is or is that the triggering voltage and the triggering current uh, that we need to find and uh, again the power dissipation also they have given that is vg into ig which is equal to 0.4 watts right so by using these two equations we can find uh, uh, just let me show you how we can find here so as we know the another equation es is equal to ig into uh, rg or rs whatever it may be rg plus uh, vg okay so uh, what is that from this we can find uh, what is that uh, vg so vg is equal to uh, what is that uh, 0.4 by ig okay so i am just substituting this equation 1 into so 1 into then es which is already we know that is 15 and uh, ig into rg also that they we know that is 120 plus uh, vg we can make it as 0.4 by ig okay so if we simplify this then here we can get one uh, what is a second order equation 120 ig square minus 15 ig plus 0 0.4 which is equal to 0 so by solving this equation by solving equation 3 we will get uh, the two values for the i so for the first one is ig is equal to 38.56 milli amperes and again the second value for the ig is 86.44 milli amperes so for these values for these two different values anyway we will get the two different voltages okay so let me consider first ig value as a 38.56 then in the first case uh, what is that uh, vg is equal to 0 0.4 by uh, how much here it is 38.56 into 10 to the power of minus 3 then this value if you simplify this then you will get 10.37 volts 10.37 volts and then in the second case vg is equal to again 0.4 by but the current that we, we can consider is 86.44 into 10 to the power of minus 3 so which is equal to if you simplify this then you will get uh, 4.627 volts so then which value we need to choose okay usually as we know uh, the gate current that we are giving to turn on the thyristor is Two to three times higher than the the minimum gate current required to turn on the thyristor. Here already they have provided the minimum gate current to turn on the thyristor is 25 milliamps. If you make it double, then it will be 50. Okay, and triple it will make it as a 60. Uh, sorry, a uh, 75. Okay, but here we are having the two gate currents that we uh, get. One is 38, another one is 86. But even though if you making double this ig1 is very much uh, what is that uh, sorry uh, which is less than 50 milliampere so that's why we can choose the gate current which is ig that is 86.44 and for that corresponding voltage is 4.627 so like that we need to choose the gate current right so that's why here then then finally the gate current which is ig is equal to 86.44 milliamps and vg the corresponding vg is 4.627 volts so now these are the the final values of the uh, the triggered voltage and the uh, triggered current to turn on the thyristor again here also very simple okay what we need to do is just we need to what is that understand the gate characteristics of an scr and the triggering circuit for an scr Okay, so based on that only uh, the equations that we are having are this is one that is the standard equation and another one is you know already power is equal to voltage into current. Okay, and already from the characteristics we will get to know uh, what is that uh, the slope which is equal Vg by Ig.
only these three equations. By using these three equations, we can easily find, uh, what is it? we can easily solve the numerical problems on the gate characteristics of an SCR. And in the next class, we will discuss uh, other topics which are present in the module one. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.